Welcome, Welcome to, to Cradley, Cradley church. church. This is a very unusually long church. We think this church was built on an Anglo-Saxon site. The church was built just after the Norman Conquest. This was built in the Norman times. This is a very special feature of Cradley Church. It's part of an arm of an Anglo-Saxon cross. At the top of the church in the southeast corner is a very beautiful window that we think says a lot about Cradley's values today. The window was given to the church in memory of Thomas Ayscough, who was the rector of the church for 25 years. Thomas's son was called Francis. Francis and his wife Florence lived in Shanghai for 25 years and were very keen on nature and gardening. It is no accident that the window is a picture of St. Francis. There are lots of stories about how St. Francis cared for the environment. One day, Francis was out in the countryside and suddenly he started telling stories to the birds and they all came up on his elbows and wrists and they all flew around him. This is the grave of Francis's mother and his brother. If you stand by the communion rail, if you look out of the window, it will directly point to Francis's grave. Francis taught us all to care for animals and the environment. That is what we all <coughs> try to do in Cradley today. We're here at John Rich's Nurseries to see what's happening in Cradley today. John's nursery grows thousands of plants. There are about 30 people working who spend their time caring for the young plants. Got grafting plants. That's acers. That's the best ones because we've got callus here. So that, that callus there is a bit like when you cut yourself and you get a scab. That's the plant healing itself there. Yeah. Well, we do lots of things here to help the environment. This, this lake behind us, you can see here, is what we call our reservoir. This collects all our rainwater, so we don't release any rainwater into the environment. Um, we don't take any water out of the environment either. Um, in here is lots of beneficial things, so small that you can't see most of them. Great crested newts, we have lots of here. Toads, frogs. You come down here at night, you'll see bats, um, badgers, foxes. Let me introduce you to Mike, who is a vet working in the local community. What do you do, Mike? Uh, I'm a vet working for a practice called Belmont Farm and Equine, and we're responsible for looking after um, all of the farm and equine animals in the local area. What should we do if we find a hedgehog in our garden? The most important thing to remember is that hedgehogs are wild animals, so nature knows best, and the best thing to do is to leave them well alone. But if it looks like it's injured, then you can very gently approach it and if it doesn't run away then it probably means that it might need some help. So ring your vet and tell, tell them what you're looking at and then they might ask you to pick it up in a cardboard box and take it in or they might ask you just to leave it well be. Where in the local community do you work? So my job means that we work out in the community on people's farms, on people's horse yards and sometimes in people's homes as well. What is your favourite type of dog breed? I think Pepper would be quite upset if I said anything other than Labrador. A hymn written by St Francis. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing Hallelujah. 